That smells so good. Yeah, it's always a good smell coming out of the oven. We all take pride in Kringle. We want to share that with everyone in the, in the United States. The iconic Danish pastry known as the Kringle, that sweet, flaky treat, holds a rich history in Wisconsin dating back to the late 1800s. Well, we're seen as the Kringle capital of the world. Chris Heyer is the company president. Started over on a little bakery on State Street and we're seen here. His parents bought Racine Danish Kringles back in 1988. You know, we've got employees who've been here for 18, 25 years. And now with his sister Marie, it remains a family operation. You know, we've been able to grow it to what it is today, which is so many people ordering on Kringle.com for corporate gifts, fundraising. So between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we'll sell hundreds of thousands of Kringle and ship them everywhere. And with the holidays around the corner, this Kringle workshop moves as fast as Chris Kringle, making up to 11,000 Kringles a day. Probably a minimum of 700 per hour. Yeah. And that's if you're not eating them. And while a few of the steps are done by machine. Just, uh, oh, oh boy. Wait, no, I, that, that got in the way. There's supposed to be some real artistry that goes into every Kringle. Ooh, that, that wasn't good at all. Oh, man. They make it look easy. We laminate dough by hand. We shape the Kringle by hand. We, we ice by hand. We package by hand. So all these things really, there's a lot of pride with the employees here. And that pride may be the secret ingredient that keeps this made in Wisconsin treat one to enjoy year after year. In Racine, Andy Choi, WISN 12 News. Racine Danish Kringle says the company produces more than a million Kringles a year and ships them all across the country.